did, were able to get enough evidence to make an arrest in the case uh, on Jace Ogilvy for deadly conduct, uh, a third degree felony, and then we uh, identified the uh, victim and uh, he's going to be okay and uh, we have a lot of uh, investigation still to do. Uh, we have a lot more witnesses and a lot of evidence to go through and uh, we expect more charges on some of the of the people that were there, and it's just going to be a, you know, a little bit before we do a no release on, on those, and uh, we expect you know more charges and, and there's a lot more investigation because uh, there were a lot of people. So, uh, and we're still looking for the person that was in the vehicle. Uh, if anybody has any information on that or any other thing that they can give us on the case, you know, we'll take as much as we can get, and uh, they can contact us here at the Tyler Police. Department. Can you tell me if the person who is in custody was the one who fired the shots that put that person in the hospital? Uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, uh, who was the actual uh, person responsible for uh, shooting the, uh, the victim that was shot. Uh, we have evidence uh, that the person that we arrested was one of the shooters in the case, mm -hmm. and that's why he was arrested for that, and that, that being dead to conduct because you know, it's discharging a firearm and cause serious bodily injury or death with, you know, to a vehicle that's occupied, which was the one with the vehicle they were shooting at, and the, the uh, construction across the street and all that, that just thankful that nobody else was hurt. So there were multiple shooters, and it's the belief that they shot back at each other? It, 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 it seems that way, uh, but that's a lot of, of the investigation that we still have to go through to see if, uh, if the, the, this car that, that said was involved was actually shooting. Uh, you know, we, we, we know there were people shooting from the park, and that's because that's, that's where uh, the suspect that was arrested was. And uh, so no, that's all we can say for sure at this time. Would you describe this as a drive-by? Uh, no, i describe this more as a, as a, a, a gunfight between, between individuals, or at least maybe if it was just the people from the park shooting, then no, uh, shooting at a vehicle or whether the vehicle was shooting back, that's something we still have to effort out and still have to investigate. Uh, and we'll, we hopefully we'll know more once that, that investigation you know, proceeds a little bit and, and, and identify who that person is in the car. So, uh, But we do know that uh, the people in the park were shooting. Can you tell me a little bit about that car and how it was involved and the suspect you're still looking for? I don't know. We, we, we don't know if, if they're a suspect or if they're just a person that's a, uh, related to the incident. But if anybody was involved in this that, that they need to tell us something, they, you know, can come forward and we'll, we'll talk to them. Uh, if there's more people that, you know, that have information or either witnesses or involved, we still would like to talk to them. Where was the gunshot wound on the victim who's currently in the hospital? You said they're going to be okay. Do you know what their current state is? Uh, no, I know it was in the, the, the lower back or upper thigh or something, something on the, on the, on the, the back end side of the so I don't know much more about his injury than that. You talked about uh, DPS dogs yesterday. Did they find anything in the woods? No, I know uh, the uh, uh, game wardens brought uh, their, their dog out and their drone, and, and nothing was located in the woods. Uh, Talk about the, uh, the house that you guys got the search warrant for. What did you find in there? I uh, found several weapons, including pistols and long guns. So uh, that's evidence that led us to that residence, and, and we found evidence of the crime or of uh, that's related to this case uh, in that house. So that was a successful search warrant. Do you have any idea, you said you guess these guys knew each other, but do you have any direct motive at this point or is that still something that's going to come for? No, that's something that we're still trying to figure out uh, what, what, why the shooting occurred or what, what they were, why they were shooting or, or, or what caused all of this to kind of come off. The place where this occurred at the park, do you think that was a coincidence or do you think they just happened to know where they were? person was going to be? I think they, they were familiar with, with where they were going to be and th they, this was a known, I don't know if it was set up to be here, but uh, the, the shooting was, took place uh, uh, not randomly. I don't think it was, it, was, it was planned to be where it was. You said you wouldn't describe this as a drive-by, but as... No, this is, this is some, I, we, we don't know yet, you know, if the vehicle that uh, uh, was seen uh, at the time of the shooting uh, oh, we don't know how they're involved at this time. And so we need to find out who, who that is and, and identify who that is. 
Uh, but we do know that the people, at least one from the park was shooting because that's the evidence we had to arrest uh, Jay Ogilvie. So uh, that's, that's, you know, still more to effort out there. And I, I think we know more charges are going to be coming on some of the people that were, were there in the park as well. So how many people were in the park? There's three? Three to four. I'm not quite sure uh, about all. I know there's video that we're, we're looking at. And uh, we'll know more once we are able to, to uh, process that video and, and look at some of the videos that's involved in this case. Just talk a little bit about that more maroon car again. Do you know exactly yeah. what the involvement was? No, I know there was a maroon car that was parked on Copeland Road. and We did tow that to the police department uh, for processing and they can get a search warrant on it. Uh, I don't have any information on how it's involved right now or what, what uh, uh, they'll find in it at this point. Do you think there's, what do you think the people of the city of Tyler should know right now as this investigation? What are you looking for from people, mm -hmm. maybe people in that area, or anything specific you want to mm -hmm. say? If anybody has any information, whether it be anything they saw or heard or they have any video that they could give us, that would be very helpful. If anybody knows anything, they can contact, contact us here at the Tyler Police Department, and, and, and that would be helpful in this investigation because, you know, this, this could have been a lot worse. We're, we're, we're glad that nobody else was hurt in this, and we want to get as much information as we can on this. So if anybody has any evidence or anything they'd like to tell us, they can please contact us.